This week on Arkansas Land and Life. Farmers learn about the latest technologies and techniques at a crop field day in Greene County. Learn how to head back to school without cleaning out your pocketbook. And Arkansas ranchers have options when it comes to types of livestock forage during the summer. Farming involves so much more than planting and harvesting, and like other industries, farmers have to keep up with the latest technologies and techniques to stay in business. At a crop field day in Greene County, growers saw presentations on corn fertility and irrigation water management and got an application tech update from Jason Davis. A few things that, that producers uh, tend to overlook um, is one is new spray te uh, tip technology. Uh, producers are running old or outdated tips and so it's important that producers get up to speed on what technology is out there to apply the chemicals at the appropriate rates. So there's a lot of electronics that are out there that's kind of really aided the producers to do a better job in the field and so as long as they're understanding the limitations of those, those products can really go a long ways in making them more efficient. Check with your county extension office, uaex.edu, or arkansascrop.com to find the next technology clinic or demo. It won't be long before school bells ring and Arkansas students are back in the classroom. New backpacks, school clothes, calculators, classroom supplies. It can add up fast and take a big bite out of your household budget. I have a couple of tips for ways consumers can save money on back to school shopping. A classic tried and true method is to comparison shop and it's easier than ever. The traditional way is to look at store flyers, but now we can also look online at store websites to compare prices. I know that one-stop shopping is easier time-wise, but different stores can have different prices on different items. So to get the best buys at the lowest prices, it's a good idea to comparison shop before you go to the stores. Another method for saving money is to use coupons. Coupons are available in store flyers, but they are also available online. You can download them from store websites. And the latest method is to use store apps or coupon apps on your smartphone to find coupons. For the best buys and the lowest prices, the most cost saving, combine sales with coupons. These are a few tips for back to school shopping. For more information on back to school tips, you can contact your local county extension office or visit our website at uaex.edu. When it comes to livestock forage, Arkansas ranchers aren't limited to tall fescue and Bermuda grass during the summer. So with tall fescue as a cool season grass, a perennial cool season grass, we have this problem of providing enough forage for cattle during the summertime. Fescue mainly grows in spring and fall, so we have to find opportunities or ways to close that forage gap. Phillips says summer annuals such as pearl millet, sorghum sudan hybrids, and forage sorghums can grow in summer and close the gap. They are planted around middle of May when the soil warms up enough to about 60 degrees and provide either hay, silage or grazing for those animals. Producers have been successful with sorghum sudan accumulating about 7,500 pounds per acre in two cuts and pearl millet yielding about 5,300 pounds per acre in two cuts. The University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture is your R&D for life. For more information on these and other programs, visit uaex.edu.